dream of you ever. Dream of you ever. Can I help it if I dream of you ever? Dream of you ever. Can I help it if I dream of you very late break right today it is 2 55 i like looked down at my watch and saw it was like 2 15 i was like okay let me finish up what i was doing and then go take a break because i was just go 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 this morning responding to all emails from this weekend and now i'm on a break i would sit outside because it's so nice but because i'm on like the last leg of <laughs> my paycheck from this month because I do only get paid once a, once a month which is a little unfortunate because towards the end of the month it gets a little dicey um so I um I brought food from home to reheat so I had to reheat it and obviously I had to sit inside so I'm just gonna enjoy sitting in my little sunspot that I like sitting in when I am sitting inside because the sun hits so perfectly right here when um I'm at lunch and with all the shadow like really across my face i am gonna read my book i'm currently reading the handmaid's tale i am seventy-one percent of the way through and i put the second book on hold at the library because it looks like it won't be available on kindle through libby for quite a while so i'm gonna just it from the library and hope that my hold is actually ready. I should probably check on that and see if my hold is ready. If not, um, hopefully I won't finish the book before my hold is ready. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna read. for a walk right now and so sun is on my face because now the sun is low in the sky and radar just pulled me to sniff but I was doing so much admin work today I was like looking doing something and then I looked down and I saw it was literally 4 30 today flew by so fast I have so many admin things to do so I guess it was nice that the day flew by fast but it still felt like I, I literally like I felt like I did nothing, but I know I did a whole lot today. Um, I'm definitely gonna relax when I get home, make some mac and cheese, watch a show, and just And it's a little after midnight. Um, but I'm taking radar out one last time before we go to bed. Obviously, there's the city behind me. But I'm not gonna lie, this is like the quietest I have ever heard it out here. Like, there's no sirens, there's no sound of the highway that's nearby, there's no people talking, it's just birds chirping. It really feels like a suburban neighborhood right now, which is so crazy because it's literally never this quiet right now. I feel like I have to whisper with how quiet it is. It's crazy. And the moon still shining, but I, I don't know. And there's literally one cloud in the sky. So, okay. Now I can hear a plane which is going by, but because the airport's like in that general area. But still, this is like literally the quietest I've ever heard it out here. It's crazy. Also, there's radar. I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning, happy 
Thursday. It does not feel, oh wait, no, is it Wednesday? Oh my God, it's Wednesday. <laughs> Doesn't feel like a Wednesday. My week is all messed up because we started on Monday. Got myself a drink. Currently heading up into work. the last quote unquote, last season of once upon a time so i'm just finishing the last few episodes there is a seventh season but i don't think i'm gonna watch it because from what i've heard it just like has nothing to do with all the other seasons um but yeah i wanted to do that because i'm gonna watch the handmaid's tale next i should just pause this um i'm gonna watch the handmaid's tale next because i I'm basically finished with the book and I want to watch that next and that's on Hulu. So we're gonna wrap it up hopefully tonight. We'll see. So I didn't actually get to finish Once Upon a Time, which was very annoying because I think I have two episodes left and it just kept like pausing every five minutes. I'm doing the loading screen and turning back on and it's like, okay, I'm not gonna deal with this. And then I remembered that I need to send my therapist an update, which I do. I do weekly not weekly goodness. I do monthly therapy appointments, which I find is good. There was a time I was doing bi-weekly. There was also a time when I was doing weekly and now I'm down to monthly, which I think it's really good for everyone to go to therapy. I really recommend it. But every like the day before I have to send her information. And then I also send her like an update of what she missed. So she knows what we're going to talk about, kind of like the main points to talk about. There's a lot to update her on, so I'm currently typing all of my stuff out. I'm trying to remember everything, honestly, at this point. There is definitely one really big thing that happened that i got to update her on. So I know we'll probably talk heavily about that because it's been, it was, and kind of still is a little bit the main source of my anxiety this month. So yeah, I need to finish it and I need to finish my book and then go to bed so oh, I am going to finish writing this update <laughs> it's been a while since I finished a book and showed y'all everything that I do when I finish a book so I am gonna show you what I do when I finish a book um first I'm gonna open my laptop which I have there um but I have a few things so I'm gonna pull out my pen as well as my book journal and my red um, notebook that I've been keeping track of books since 2013, actually. I did talk about this in my, in my reading video, but I just randomly started to keep track of books. As you can see, The Fault in Our Stars. It's the first book I kept track of. Also the first book that made me cry. Um, 8-24-2013, so. Um, so the first thing I do is just in here, um, it goes to where I'm at, and um, here I just do title, author, number of pages, and the date I finished, so I'm gonna fill that out. I can't tell if it's running out of ink or if it's just, um, me being a lefty, I don't know. Oh yay, because I finished this book in May, I officially read six books in May. That's great, I love that. 
I always read so much more in the summer. It's great. So that's all I do with the red notebook. So as you can see, I added the Handmaid's Tale in. And then in the book journal here, uh, my sister got it for me. I'm pretty sure, yeah, she got it from Barnes and Noble, but she got it for me. Um, you just fill it out. It asks for title, start and finish date, author, publisher, publishing year, um, genre, where you got the book, the main character or subject, your thoughts, and then down here it has stars for overall plot and characters. So I'm going to fill that out real quick and then show you after I do so. And then I always choose the pen. So I do the title and the author and the genre all in one color and, and like the fun color and then I fill the rest out in black. So usually I'll go with the color of whatever is the main color of the, um, the book. In this case it's red. This is how it looks after I do it. Just write my thoughts, all of that information, and then the stars down here. So that is the my book journal. And then I have two different spreadsheets also this is my story graph you guys should definitely follow this is what my profile looks like real quick i'm not reading anything because i just finished something but definitely follow me if you want to see what books i read but i'm going to pull up my two google spreadsheets i'm going to show you for a second first one i'm going to show you is my current library so uh this is all the books i own um i have it with the book title author um I need to rename this tab to be genre, page number, have I read, not read, or DNF'd when I finished it, and the rating. Um, I have read stuff, but I don't remember when I finished it, and I don't remember the page numbers, and I'm doing a lot of the ratings have question marks because I did finish them, so I'm like rereading a lot. But I'm not sure if this is in here, um, and all the T's are under... Like, all the the's are under T instead of under their thing. It's just how it's going to work. Yeah, I don't think I've added this. So I'm just going to add this, yeah, in here. So I am holding this, so give me a second. Apologize if this is shaky. And then genre, as you can see, all of my genres are a shade of blue. It's just how I work. Um, I have a ton of different genres. I spent a long time adding in the genres, but this is a dystopian. I don't know if that's in here. Oh no. I have YA dystopian, but I don't have like actual dystopian in here. Crap. Okay, well, looks like I'll also be adding in a genre. <laughs> Uh, let's see. So I'll be adding in a shade of blue, I guess. I hope I haven't used that shade yet. <laughs> oh. oh, dang it, I always accidentally do that. I always accidentally make the text that. God, I hate that. Why can't it just be the background that color? Gosh. order that but yep dystopia and then page count which is 311 and I've read it I've finished it today which is 531 2023 and then I read it four out of five so I'm gonna have to reorder that okay so that is the library and then I also have this spreadsheet also of books I've read um I've color coded it by year so obviously these are all the books I read actually in 2013. I also have a total of pages I read per year. 
So this is always interesting to look at seeing all the books I read in a year and then how it goes down. And I literally read one book in 2018 and one in 2019. In my defense, it was Sherlock Holmes and Game of Thrones and those took forever to read. And I was also in college. So obviously I was in a large reading slump during this year. And this is also when I started to rate the books I was reading. But anyway, um, this is this year. So I'll add her down here. So this total down here is actually the total of number of pages I've read since I started keeping track, which is really fun to look at. Basically, I've read about 70, like almost 77,000 pages, and then I don't know how to fix this. Because I do this every time, and I feel like there's a better way to do that, because I always have to do that, and then I do that, and then I do this, and then I change this. I feel like this is... There would be a better way for this, but... And now that is the total number of pages I've read um, this year. And also, I trust this more because Storygraph um, doesn't always have the exact book I'm reading. Um, sometimes it'll only have one version of the book, which may have more or less pages, so I will trust this page more than the Storygraph one. But it's always really fun to look at Storygraph and see, like my breakdown like I'm ahead by five books for my goal my stats they're fun to look at like my streak my longest streak um how I read my pace page number fiction versus nonfiction, the genre I read format I read who I read the most of and like <laughs> big slump in February back up in May Today's June, so all up and down and everything and see my stars. So yeah, that's really fun to look at. And the last thing I do if I keep the book is I will stamp it with my library stamp, which I'm very excited about. So I'm gonna open her up. Um, I usually just open up to the first title. Oh my God this title page this first one and i'll stamp the bad angle but here we are i'm gonna stamp her and she's been stamped and i'm gonna put her on my bookshelf and grab my next book Woo! which i might read a different book than i planned just because i put the second book of this on hold and at the library and i feel like it's gonna come in sooner than i think it will so i might start a different book instead of the one i wanted to read so I'm going to do that. Anyway, this is all I'm going to talk to you for tonight. I'm going to go to bed. Also, there's Radar. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Oh, it's a baby. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's a baby. Oh, it's a baby. Oh, my goodness. It's a baby. No, it's a baby. Hi, honey. Oh, who's so tired? Yes, I know. We're gonna probably go O-U-T one last time before I take a shower and go to bed. So I'm gonna leave you here for the day. <laughs> Today is actually Thursday. I'm getting my nails done today because they are so bad, but I'm going to stop and get associates before work. This is an outfit. Also, I don't know if you can tell. But nails are not doing great. Got my Celsius. I got the sparkling wild berry. I actually tried Celsius for the first time, like, I think last week. I'm obsessed. I love it. it tastes so good that I'm going off into work right now. 
I just got off work. It feels so nice outside. I'm coming off to get my nails done and my nail actually broke during work. So it's very necessary and very needed. Look at that. Oh my God. Nails are looking so much better now. Oh my God. I just finished getting my nails done. I'm very excited. Now I'm going to go pick up my book that's available at the library and then at home. It's currently like 6.10. Only took about an hour today. So both of the path trains I was supposed to be able to take home are suspended, so now I have to take the ferry. So I'm going to walk all the way to take the ferry. like an hour and a half to get home because of all that. Fair felt great, but uh, that was too, too much, way too much. And so I literally door dashed Chick-fil-A because I have therapy in like half an hour. So I uh, don't have time for literally anything. donut day with purchasing coffee so I got a caramel latte. It's the outfit for the day. Heading off into work. Currently eating lunch outside leftover Chick-fil-A salad which I ordered last night. I really didn't talk when I got home last night. I got home, ordered Chick-fil-A, have hair, and went to sleep. finished the book I was reading which is War Horse so I'm watching the movie the issue the only issue here is like for some reason it keeps getting like super super grainy like it is right now and then it goes back to normal and then it pauses and then it does the loading screen so like I can't even watch it normally and it's very frustrating annoying but it's been going in and out so I guess this is fine but yeah this little tiny book was made into a nice two-hour movie with uh, Benedict Cumberbatch and uh, Tom Hiddleston, apparently. Okay, the moon is out and really bright tonight, but you can't really see it, but it looks really cool. One, two, three, fuck it! My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. 